<laughs> what do you get when you create a super patriot? Soulless bastard. And then when it's all over, what do you do with them? They couldn't just cut me loose. And they didn't have the guts to try to terminate me. CIA could justify killing them in cold blood. Under the highest security, they were they were shipped to psychiatric wards on Pacific Island. They were to spend the rest of their natural life. None would endure to acknowledge or bear witness to what he had done or what he had seen. So was not their creator, the Central Intelligence Agency. <laughs>
They have been producing and smuggling opium for as far back as before the French. He has been paid thousands of dollars by the U.S. government annually to remain loyal to Saigon. Until recently, he has cooperated. But he's moved to Hanoi. And he must be eliminated. This, of course, is where D.Y. will be. And this lovely lady is May Lai, your second target. Intelligence report says she arrived from the north yesterday to oversee Du Lai's military turnover. And she will more likely be in one of these huts here. Now, the American people can no longer be humiliated by this communist. If Du Lai defects to Hanoi, the entire region has been lost along with American lives. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. You must, I repeat, you must accomplish your mission without detection. Any evidence of our involvement will be disastrous. I cannot overemphasize the secrecy here. There are no exceptions. Now, soldier, if your mission was discovered by a non-commander woman, the child, what would you do? I would eliminate them, sir. Good. So will depart zero, 500 hours. The helicopter brought you off approximately 10 clicks outside the Cambodian border. If you get in any trouble, you're on your own. As far as the Army's concerned, you never existed. A reconnaissance patrol will have instructions to provide you with all the necessary provisions you need to make up the hut. You will not engage in the enemy. I repeat, you will not engage in the enemy unless fired upon. You will make your way through enemy territory and accomplish your mission. Your code name is Phoenix. And you two men are a team. You're a single duty. The plan of attack will be up to you. Charlie in the air. Yeah, we're about 10 clicks out by the village. This makes my mouth water. Like somebody's having some fun. Relax, like fast. We'll meet up with uh, Bravo in an Yeah, I hope that is Bravo so we can get in on the party.
the one that's being spun. Go ahead. We have contacted Charlie on engaged in major fire. Can you assist us? I repeat, can you assist us? That's 13 to 5. I was invited to this party, too. Now, the next ones are mine. Appreciate the help out there, Negas. Yeah, good job. No, no problem. problem. What you doing this far out, anyway? It's classified. Uh, is this our gear? Yeah, sure is. Now you boys run into any more of those critters, you just give a holler. All right. Yeah, watch your back. Go. Well, that was fun, huh, Spat? With any luck, we'll make it to the village by night. Yeah, we'll hit the village tonight. I'll take the old man. You take the girl. No problem.
with two eyes tonight. woman, I will just kill you. Now, G.I., sign your confession. Fuck off! No! You fuck off, G.I. Did him! <coughs> this pig will do what I am. And you will do as I say. Oh, 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 oh. I never cry. Get there. Keep twenty nine. What do you see? What do you see? Oh, blood all over the place, all over their faces. Good death. Smell of death all around me. Where are you, Hank? Where are you? Okay. 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 What do you see, Hank? Are you all right? You know where you're at. Yeah, I'm all right. Okay, Hank. I'm gonna get you up. I'm gonna take this off you. You ready? Are you all right? Okay. 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 All right. All right. Huh. Well, you sure really know how to make a guy's day, don't you? Huh? You take the thrill right out of a nightmare. It's gonna get better, Hank. Yeah, I hope so. His wife and kids. Doing good, Hank. Doing real good. I hope I meet him someday. Great photographs. I really enjoy looking at photographs. You will, Hank. I promise you will. Got a pool at your house? No, I wish I did, Hank. <laughs> hey, doctor, you should have a pool. This is spooky, you know. Here, Hank, this will make you feel better. Take that. Stephen Henry Miller, here's to you. <sighs> Thank you. Thanks for another day. To you. Well, Henry, this is it for the week. Why don't we take it on out? See you next week. All right? Anything I can get you? Haircut and a razor? Please. You got the haircut. He's all yours.
Miller, Stephen Henry. Classified most secret. The subject continues to respond to artificially induced catatonia. Memory recall of circumstances in Vietnam, negative. Provincial reconnaissance unit, indoctrination remains as before in limbo. Surfacing only via broken thought patterns, under controlled hypnosis. The subject maintains a feeling of total inutility without the continued assurances that America still requires his services. Anticipated recovery. Negative. Keep your hands on the wheel, Sergeant. Now pull the car over. Nice and easy, like. That's a good boy. Maybe be safe, sir. Just don't pull the trigger. Good day, sir. Report M15. Subject Major Henry Miller Crew. Background. Oh, yes, sir, we do have a lot of background. You and Major Miller and me. Matter of fact, it goes all the way back when you formed the crew as your chosen 200. And I was just a, just a liaison man, and uh, nobody really noticed. But you, by God, noticed Henry Miller, didn't you? Because he had everything that you wanted in the crew, didn't he? I know you don't remember, sir, but... Uh, I didn't think we should take him. You know, he, was, he was independent, wouldn't be programmed. But he had too much of the goddamn stuff that you wanted for your outfit, didn't he? What'd you do, sir? You, you gave him the toughest, most suicidal mission you could come up with. And he knew you gave it to him. And he not only knew it, sir, he loved it. Now, sir, uh, Major Hank Miller has come back to haunt us. He's one of the few survivors. As I understand it, sir, uh, it's my mission to, uh, to neutralize Major Henry Miller. What are you doing? Those are my personal files. Take a seat, Doctor. I'm calling security. Stop! Katulik, what are you doing here? Why don't you come over here and have a seat on the divan? Come on. You're right there, Major, will be just fine. Major, run. Uh, but we're here because of your breach of security. And that breach has caused you a problem. But more important than that is, it's caused the company a serious problem. You know what that means. Mr. Katulik, this is... 
Where are our files? Case number M for Michael, 936. Subject of one, Stephen Henry Miller. Response to Hank. Well, he was in the Navy for four years uh, as a SEAL, and then he re enlisted in the Army in 1968. He volunteered for our program. Whatever's there, Mr. Cattulli. Shh. Our files indicate that the patient departed at 1730 hours under maximum security. Is that right, Doctor? And prior to leaving, he was, uh, was fully sedated. According to your directives. Did you administer the drug? Were you aware or did you see that he was fully medicated? Did you, did you, doctor, did you see him fully medicated? Don't insult me. Our government entrusted you with a highly sensitive responsibility. You, Blair, were totally irresponsible. And something else must have happened. When he left here, he was heavily sedated. Are you sure? What do you want me to do? Stick the damn pills down his throat with my finger? Major, if you'd have done that, we probably wouldn't all be sitting here now, would we? I don't have to take this from you. No, but you know what you have to do? You have to listen. Phoenix program. Need any of your brother approved? How many? Names, ages, whatever. I, 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 I don't know. You've got to help me help you. Oh, I think I'm the one of them here. I don't remember. Who is in charge? Everything, but the shots. I hate the needle pen. Your team leader, the now. Dr. No one. I, I know, sir. Things wrong with Before the fact, you understand what I'm saying? You were officially dead while still in training. Boy. Doc, I want to tell you what. You really, you really outstepped your directive there. I'm a psychiatrist. It's my sworn duty to use any and all methods. It's my job. You were ordered to neutralize this subject, not to affect the cure. See, your years with the company were and still are highly sensitive. Your thoughts, your journals, your tapes, even that subject's presence with you were highly, highly secretive. This is unnecessary. This is unauthorized. You know what the... Oh, Major. You know what this makes you? It makes you guilty of treason. Are you bastards? How dare you accuse me of disloyalty? I proudly wear this uniform. You're a goddamn traitor. You people are unbelievable. Hank's not the animal. You're the goddamn animals. Major. Major, what you're going to do is you're going to get your tapes, files, your thoughts. You're going to get whatever it takes together. You're going to guide us to that subject. If anybody from the outside... Why don't you just kill the poor son of a bitch? You get in deep. And how deep is deep? Six Should not have been. Unfortunately, he functioned with greater understanding in the jungles of Laos than on the streets of Los Angeles. The government found out that it was much easier to arm than to disarm a soldier who had been programmed to kill. The three who came home were sadly unrehabilitable. Their hopeless striving to adapt was inconvenient for the U.S. government. But for Major Henry Miller, it was more painful and frightening than and the deadly enemy he faced daily in Southeast Asia. Once approved, always approved. You got the records? No. 
you got a lot of guts, Doc. So do you. Get the goddamn records. What are you out of your mind? You want to get yourself killed? You out of your mind, I'm going to knock your brains out. What's the matter with you? You deaf or something? I don't give handouts. No freebies. How much? Twenty dollars. Twenty-two dollars. Twenty-two dollars. And my hat? Sir. It seems that our egghead friend, Dr. Blair, has developed a Christian conscience. And you think the shrinks and crazy prunes wear white hats. Well, the company works back. He so has the line. All the records for Major Heyman Miller. Being fully cognizant of, uh, of their sensitivity. And I think he will try in any way he can to, to stop me from catching him. Case. It's not a traitor. Now, Mr. Miller himself, uh, the best place to look for him would be uh, would be with his girlfriend Samantha. He has no other family. 
And I've been keeping daily tabs on her. Well, she hangs on. You see, sir, in the last three years, well, he's been receiving mega doses of Thorazine. She's found another lover. More fidelis, not more expensive. Little rich girl pays for little Sammy don't get to play no more. Hey, that's you. You understand me? I understand you, Jimmy. This is getting a little ridiculous. Okay, here you go. Hey, look. I know I've got a bad temper. I got psychological problems. <laughs> I still love you. You understand? Give me a kiss. Okay, go do your work. I'll pick you up in an hour. Hi. All right, party time. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Mm. Oh, hey, I'll pay you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Can I have a toot? But it's party time. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. This time out, I I didn't want to be seen with that Dr. Blair. So I came out to this ranch and. Uh, Big dirty friends let me use. I can take better out here. It's really kind of a big place. I'll tell you what else, sir. You know, as I'm talking to you, uh, I ran into an old gravesite. This place is so damn big, I think there's room for one more, if you know what I mean. you for me for any of my operatives to hang his debriefing. Second. Good. Dump it down here. Watch. Dump it on the ground. You mind? You know what that stuff is? I don't have to know, Doc. You know. I light it. Dr. Blair did bring the records to me. And they do not exist anymore. That's just a man, uh... Major Miller's girlfriend, uh... I've been on her day by...